All right. Today, we're going to talk about how to identify some of the good things that happen in our social media interactions. Specifically, we will talk about prosocial behavior, which is the opposite of antisocial behavior. We will look into ways to quantify prosociality and uh, how to uh, focus which conversation will have more of it. So online conversation may go in many directions. Uh, some of them turn out poorly due to antisocial behavior, while others turn out positively to the benefit of all. So research on improving online spaces have primarily focused on detecting and reducing antisocial behavior. And the recent works show that the initial start of a conversation can focus antisocial outcomes from early linguistic and the behavioral information. And the human achieved an accuracy of 72% in this task. Um, however, despite those sophisticated techniques for measuring antisocial behavior, the key metrics for prosocial behavior are relatively unknown. So only a handful of studies have examined positive behaviors such as making constructive comments. So this leads to our core question. Can we predict when conversation will go well? So we want to know how to quantify and measure prosocial behaviors in social media. We want to know how we can predict positive outcomes from a signal early in the conversation. And then we want to know whether humans have intuition about which conversation is more likely to result in positive outcomes. And then we also want to know whether machines can predict future prosociality and how well they can do it. Firstly, we need to know what are good behaviors. Here, as you can see, we use theory from social psychology to define prosocial metrics that capture different positive conversation outcomes. Overall, eight types of prosocial metrics are introduced, which reflect common behavior expected to be seen on social media. And it's worth noting that we include a specific type of metric called the absence of antisocial behavior. The idea behind this extra metric is to test whether prosocial behavior is simply the lack of antisocial behavior or not. From this theory-inspired categories, we developed several computational models to recognize each prosocial behavior and labeled those behaviors in a massive data set for further usage. Here, we will briefly describe each of the metrics. Information sharing is captured in two ways. Firstly, we train a classifier to recognize informative replies to questions, and then use the classifier to count informative replies in conversation. Secondly, we include counts for the user as a link to an information-based domain like Wikipedia and account for links to all other websites as the other measurement. Gratitude is also measured while counts of appearance. To measure esteem enhancement, we build models to get corresponding politeness and compliment scores of all the replies, as well as their scores rated by the whole community as different measurements. Social support is measured by the number of corresponding replies. Social cohesion is a more complex set, so we measure it from four perspectives. The first one is linguistic accommodation where individuals mirror the speaking style of their conversation partner. Next, we add the total number of participants in the conversation, the longest number of sustained turns between two people and the depth of the conversation's common tree to the metric set. Also, we count the number of laughter events and the comments, including a first person pronoun in the conversation, since they are known to strengthen social ties. Donation and mentoring are measured based on corresponding URL counts. Finally, we include both the counts of comments existing given toxic thresholds, as well as the percentage of non-toxic comments as a symbol of antisocial behavior in the conversation. Then we developed models for recognizing each social behavior and label the massive data set. Comments are extracted from Reddit and the statistics of our data set are shown below. Noted that due to computational limitations in labeling each conversation with all metrics, we downsampled the training data, requiring all subreddits to have at least 100 conversations and keeping at most 500 conversations per subreddit. To validate our proposed models, we need to know what types of conversations do people find more prosocial and 
response. Hence, we ask annotators to perform tasks. Given two conversations, select which conversation contains more of social behavior. We finally get 2,300 pairs as scrumptious labels, and annotators attain a crippling of alpha of 0.78 on 300 mutually labeled pairs, indicating high agreement. For each metric, we measure the strength of association with human judgments by computing the MCC score. In this chart, we will show each metric and its correlation with human judgments of prosociality on the X axis. From the chart, we can see that most of the proposed metrics are positively correlated with human judgments of prosocialness. By contrast, absence of antisocial behavior is not strongly associated with human judgments. This results prove that for platforms to measure their health, new metrics like those proposed above are needed and not simply Prosocial behaviors often share a common motivation as individuals seek to engage constructively with one another. Thus, these prosocial metrics have the potential to be summarized with a single proxy metric. To test how much regularity there is in prosocial behavior, we perform PCA on the obtained metric values across all conversations. As shown in the figure, the first PCA component explains 57.4% of the variance in the prosocial metric values while the second component captures roughly only 10% of the variance, suggesting the first component effectively captures shared behavior. To further test and validate the use of the first principal component as a proxy in our experiments, we calculate its MCC score with human judgments of prosociality. The resulting MCC of 0.63 is higher than the MCC for any single metric and indicates the component's value is strongly reflective of human judgments of prosociality. Hence, we take the first component as an effective proxy of prosocialness for the prediction task. Now, since we have justified the use of the first component's value as the proxy for the estimate of the prosociality of the entire conversation, we would like to predict this value using the start of a conversation, which includes the title and text of a post, top level comment, and other metadata for the comment, including the subreddit and the time in when it was posted. Based on the available data, we train our model using four categories of features. The first category includes features from the previous list of prosocial metrics, with the exception of accommodation. Uh, these metrics include uh, social support, social cohesion, and so on. The second category summarizes the top level comments relationship to the post, including the topic distributions of the post and the TLC. The third category includes the various features extracted from the top level comment, such as the number of words and sentiment. Finally, the last category of features is designed to capture the circumstances in which the TLC was made, such as the subreddit, time features, and the minutes between the post's creation time and the TLC's creation time. We introduced two trajectory forecasting models built on top of the Albert model, which is a refinement of the BERT pre-trained language model. We feed the post and TLC into separate Albert-based models, and we concatenate the output vectors with non-contextual features and the subreddit embeddings. A subset of the subreddits had predefined embeddings available, while the embedding of the remaining subreddits were initialized randomly. To measure the effect of pre-training, we include a version of the model where we do not update the off-the-shelf output parameters during training, and a second model that is fine-tuned on post and TLC text, respectively, using mask language modeling. The results show that our models were able to identify sufficient signals from just the post and TLC to forecast the eventual value of the pro-social trajectory to some degree, which is shown in the table on the right. While the performance is moderately low, high performance is expected in this setting, given the models only have access to the start of a conversation, and conversations can take many directions after this. In our experiments, we observed that fine tuning is critical to the performance on the forecasting task, and the linear regression baseline significantly outperforms the model 
using only off-the-shelf parameters without fine-tuning. We have shown that the prosocial trajectory can be forecasted using signals in the first comment. Here, we test whether the models can be used to rank conversations by their prosocial outcome. Our proposed ranking model fuses two of the post and comment forecasting models with a linear layer to allow fine tuning on held out human judgments. We also include an Oracle classifier that uses the actual trajectory value for each TLC and selects the higher value. This Oracle based classifier reflects the upper bound for performance if forecasting models would perfectly estimate the pro social trajectory. Our model reaches 57.8% accuracy on this task, significantly outperforming humans and the random chance baseline. We further observe that if a forecasting model would be able to forecast the trajectory with perfect accuracy like the Oracle, simply picking the conversation with the higher estimated trajectory would achieve an 86.5% accuracy at selecting the conversation that ultimately had more prosocial behavior. Similar to prior work on early conversations, it is very difficult to achieve high performances in this setting. However, the moderate performance on this task suggests that models can reliably pick up on prosocial signals from the first comment in discussion, which is sufficient to guide the re-ranking of newly started conversations. Uh, our results shown that models were able to identify sufficient signals of the conversational trajectory from early stage of the conversations, specifically from the post and the top level comments. Um, although the performance might seem to be low, uh, high performance is not expected in this setting because our models have only access to the start of the conversation, which might potentially lead to many different trajectories. But and nevertheless, the substantial improvement of the extra boost model and the, our bird may based model over the main value and the linear regression baseline indicates that our model is able to stably capture signals that aid that could aid in uh, proactive conversation sorting. And in the ranking task, as, as you can see on the right, our model achieved a moderate performance, which indicate that uh, they can capture prosocial signals even from the very first com comment in the conversation. And as a follow-up analysis, we tested how our model's error changes relative to when the prosocial behavior occurs. We sampled over 300,000 comments that have even lengths and uh, split them into halves by time. And we then measured our model's error on these two halves via the first principal component. And uh, in this analysis, we found that our model consistently have lower error for conversation, uh, for, for social behavior that occurs soon after the initial comment. Our bird based model attains higher performance in communities that are related to pop culture, uh, such as movies, art, and uh, culture. So our work has shown that prosocial behavior can be measured and uh, it's not just the absence of antisocial behavior. The prosocialness of a conversation can be reasonably summarized with a single score and the prosocial conversational trajectories can be predicted with models outperforming humans. However, this task is definitely very hard and you can see our code and data from our GitHub repo here. And uh, thanks for watching.